I'm Dr. Gregory Kozlik from the Texas Medical Association. In this video, I will describe how age-related macro degeneration, or ARMD, can affect your eyes, and how to prevent ARMD from impairing your vision. Age-related macro degeneration, or ARMD, is a leading cause of vision loss in people over the age of 60 in the United States, and is more common as patients get older. The retina is the tissue located in the back of the eye that acts like a film in a camera. The macula is the area of the retina responsible for central vision, like the ability to read and recognize faces. The fovea is the area in the very center of the macula where fine vision occurs. ARMD occurs in the macula. There are two forms of age-related macular degeneration, a dry form and a wet form. The dry form is more common. In dry ARMD, your eye gets small yellowish deposits, like debris of old skin, called drusen in the retina. They occur in the macula, causing deep layers of the retina to break down. The deep retinal layers include the photoreceptor cells and the layer of cells that supply nutrients to those photoreceptors. The retinal damage from ARMD, particularly when located in the fovea, will decrease vision. In wet ARMD, the retina produces a protein called vascular endothelial growth factor, also known as VEGF. VEGF causes vessels to grow beneath the retina. Sometimes these vessels hemorrhage or leak fluid and cause swelling, which damages the retina and can cause severe and permanent vision loss. Here is a close-up view of the normal fovea in the eye. Now here is a close-up view of an eye with a swollen fovea because VEGF has caused those vessels to grow beneath the retina. That is wet ARMD. Some patients who get these subretinal vessels in their eyes begin to experience visual distortion. Your ophthalmologist or even a retina specialist might want to do a scan of the retina, called an OCT. This looks at the layers of the retina to detect possible abnormalities. Your ophthalmologist also may want to conduct another test, called a fluorescein angiogram, or an IVFA. This test can distinguish what type of wet ARMD is present. Your ophthalmologist may also give you a take-home eye chart, an amps or grid, and ask you to view it daily at home to detect any new distortion. Light, particularly ultraviolet light, can cause retinal damage. So wearing sunglasses outside, particularly a UV blocking sunglass, may prevent ARMD. Recent National Eye Institute studies have shown that some patients with a particular type of dry ARMD who take special vitamins are less likely to have their ARMD worsen. The vitamins are known as the age-related eye disease study vitamins. Talk to your ophthalmologist to see if you should be taking these vitamins. Smoking increases the risk of developing wet ARMD. High blood pressure, high cholesterol, and poor diet can also be risk factors for ARMD. Race may be a factor as well, as Caucasians are at a greater risk. An ophthalmologist is a medical doctor who provides medical and surgical treatments for the eyes. He or she can examine your retina to determine if you have ARMD, and if so, treat it to try to prevent vision loss. We recommend patients over 40 have dilated eye exams at least once a year to see if they have ARMD. New onset distortion or vision changes are other reasons to see an ophthalmologist for a dilated eye exam. Early treatment of wet ARMD may prevent vision loss. The development of anti-VEGF medications has revolutionized the treatment of wet ARMD. Patients can go from this to this. But to take advantage of these treatments, you need to have a dilated eye exam. Your ophthalmologist will go over your exam results and discuss whether you have ARMD. And if so, what treatment options are best for you. Thank you for watching and I wish you good health. Thank you.